The green side of Glasgow just cannot stop winning. They cannot get enough. A Celtic score in injury time to steal the title away from Rangers. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. The men's Scottish Premiership went to Celtic and so has the women's Scottish Premiership. Celtic Rangers tied on points going in to the last game. Both teams with home fixtures. Rangers taking on Partick Thistle. Celtic taking on Hibernian. Rangers got the job done. Dominant fashion. 4-0. They defeated Partick Thistle. The Rangers had to better the result of Celtic because of the goal difference. Celtic were level on points but had far superior goal difference. So whatever Rangers done, Celtic had to match it to win the title. Rangers beat Partick Thistle. By four goals to nil. Celtic are drawn. They're being held by Hibernian. Right until the 90th minute. And then bang. Just like that. They get the late goal. They defeat Hibs by one goal to nil. Rangers. That match had already finished. The Rangers players were waiting on the final whistle. Maybe it gives you flashbacks to Manchester City. Man United. A long time ago in the Premier League. But Rangers had won 4 nil. They've done their job. They're waiting on the final whistle, they're waiting on the result and then bang, out of nowhere, a Celtic goal has literally won the Celtics women's side, the Scottish Premiership title, the female version of it, in the last kick of the game essentially, so yeah, just um, a good season I guess for Celtic round it off, it just seems like Rangers cannot beat Celtic, they cannot get over the line, they did have a six point lead at one point over Celtic, in this title race, but they have threw it away, and now, yeah, Celtic have won the league in both the men's and the women's Scottish Premiership, and it's been a bad season for Rangers, still the Scottish Cup to go, but yeah, Celtic boss was speaking about the late winner, Alina Sadiku told BBC Alba, quote, I'm so happy for the girls, they deserved us so much, I'm just as proud as I can be right now. I was calm until we scored the goal. That's when I went loca. I love this team so much and I'm just so proud. I'm so happy for the club, for myself. I came here to do something good and I think I managed it pretty well. The fans are amazing. This is for them, for all their support. I'm just so, so happy. End of quote. I mean, she can say she was calm. How could she possibly be calm? It was nil-nil. It was nil-nil until the 90th minute. Celtic were about to let the title slip through their fingers, but then no, they stepped up, they got the goal, and uh, what a feeling that must be for the Rangers women, you win 4-0, you're waiting on the result, you're not needing a goal, all you need is Celtic not to score in the final few minutes, and then bang, they score 90th minute, and it humps Rangers out the league title, but Rangers only themselves to blame, had a 6 point lead not that long ago, and they blew it. Gallagher, though, with that 90th minute winner, gave Celtic the win. I know people don't really care about women's football. Neither did I, to be honest, but I thought it was worth it. mentioning that who won the title. And yeah, it looks like Glasgow will be remaining green. So Celtic obviously did finish in first place. 82 points. Rangers in second place with... Um, 82 points, we have Glasgow City in third, 73 points, and a big drop off to Hearts with 54, Hibernian 46, Partick Thistle in sixth place with 41, and then you've got the second group, the relegation group, similar to the split in the top flight. I mean, Glasgow City are normally up there, they, they can give Celtic Rangers a challenge, but I mean, outside of Glasgow City, it, it's very similar to the men's game where it's just like Celtic and Rangers dominating and then everyone else is essentially playing for scraps. But fair play, Glasgow City normally are a little bit closer than this, but I guess since Rangers and Celtic got established, Glasgow City have kind of lost all their best players because they were the established team. You know, they were the, the number one team in the women's game, but with Celtic and Rangers, I think they came around, what, maybe 12 years ago, something like that, so with them obviously existing now, they've automatically become the two biggest clubs in the women's game, and Glasgow City have been demoted to third. So, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Celtic are the reigning champions in the women's game now. I think this might be the first time they've won the women's league. I don't know if that is correct. Correct me if I am wrong, but here, it's a win for Celtic. They've won the Scottish Premiership. They've won the Scottish Women's Premiership and they will have a chance next week to win the Scottish Cup. Glasgow right now is green. Can Rangers paint it blue? Doesn't fucking look like it. Anyway, the Rangers, they're only coming right now. Where are they? 
There's more chance of that Chris Boyd fucking cardboard cutout, I think, winning a game than anybody in that Rangers team. They need to do something, man. They can't, they can't keep this uh, dominance period for uh, Celtic going. They need to end it. So we'll see if they can do that next week. But yeah, right now, Celtic are celebrating. They celebrate it yesterday, and I'm sure they'll be celebrating tonight as well. Anyway, guys, that's it. Till next time. Peace.